Developing news in uh, UCLA as well. Security preps underway as a counter protest will be held today in support of Jewish students. This comes as pro-Palestinian protest continues at an encampment on the Westwood campus. Let's go over to KTLA's Omar Lewis. You're live on campus at UCLA with more on today's counter protest. What is the vibe there this morning as it compares to USC where Annie Rose is at? Yeah, well, we've seen campus security out here expanding the barricades out here this morning. We can tell you that those pro-Palestinian protesters, they've been out here since Thursday, and you can see the signs behind us as well as the barricades going up out here this morning. Campus security again out here adding new barricades today. We have seen several clashes over the last few days between this group as well as counter protesters, and things could get tense out here later today because there is another counter protest that's expected to take place at 11 o'clock to stand in support of Jewish students. We can show you video from overnight shows protesters chanting and expanding their encampment area. A GoFundMe titled Bruins for Israel to support those counter protests of the UCLA pro-Palestinian encampment here has raised more than $60,000 in the past day. The GoFundMe had the goal of raising $26,000 to help bring more big screens and loud speakers to Dixon Plaza since last week. Counter protests have been active on and off here in Dixon Plaza, uh, including chanting through speakers and attempting to engage with those inside the encampment area. This is day four of this pro-Palestinian encampment here at UCLA. Those protesters have been camped out with temps here relying on food donations and access to on-campus restrooms, but these folks have been sleeping out here for several days at this point. That group is calling for the University of California system to divest from companies associated with the Israeli military and cut ties with the LAPD. In addition, they're calling for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. We are really focused on creating a loving and welcoming community, um, and that is what this struggle is about. It, it, it is about centering humanity, first and foremost. And again, our focus at the end of the day is to end the genocide and call for a ceasefire. There's a difference between freedom of speech and then there's also provoking hate speech. What they're calling for is an intifada, and intifada is an all-out attack on Jewish people. Hey, listen to what they're saying right now. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. What is the river? What is the sea? What is in between? Israel land. Jewish people are living there. So back out here live this morning, we did try to talk to folks inside of this encampment area. We were told they have no comment for us at this point. We also talked to some students out here who are in support of Jewish students. They say they will be back here again for that counter protest that will start at 11 o'clock and run until one o'clock. Hopefully uh, with all the campus security and everything in this area, things will remain peaceful. Of course, we'll continue to update on this story, but that's the latest here live from Westwood this morning. I'm Omar Lewis. We'll send it back to you in the studio.